When I think of Chicago, I think about the food, the sports teams, the fact that we turn the river green every year, and we got a beam. What do you think about? But you wouldn't expect this. So I don't know whose bright idea it was to bring NASCAR to a downtown city of Chicago where it's really not the scene. <laughs> As a kid, I loved cars, and that spans from Hot Wheels to RC cars to playing video games. But I never thought that I would see a race car in real life. And then I heard about NASCAR coming to Chicago, and my first initial reaction was, holy frick, that's super awesome. I can actually see a race car in real life, see what that's like. And naive little me didn't realize how expensive tickets were. I took a little gander here on the little interwebs to find out exactly how much tickets were. So general admission tickets. Those tickets started from $269 to 353 But then you get to the Presidential Paddock Club, and that one starts at $3,015. Okay. <laughs> So you're looking at either a mere $269 or upwards to $3,000. Is this really a good idea? I got to go and skateboard down towards it on Friday, the day before, and get a sense of what everything's going on. Really? <laughs> Gotta get the shot. <laughs> you gotta get it. This is like things you see in video games, but never in real life. And it feels like I need an Xbox controller. <laughs> so that nice lady over there, she was saying that the last mayor set this up, draw more attention to downtown, to get more people in. You know, all this happening, all this excitement in the city has got me like all riled up. I honestly wonder, has there ever been something like this, like NASCAR thing in downtown before? Hey. What's up, man? I'm going to my proposal shoot now. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. How'd your go? Oh, it was great. Good. Thank you, man. What are the odds of running into Braxton downtown? What are the odds of that? Start your engines. like a lot of people were interested I mean it's a huge spectacle you're closing down half of the city people are gonna check it out and I thought that's kind of how everyone felt about it and then I went down the rabbit hole of some comments someone said that it's such a waste Chicago is not the demographic for NASCAR just a giant inconvenience to those of us who live here and that's when I kind of had a reality check of oh yeah I do live here <laughs> But I didn't really know the inconvenience that it had on all the businesses around the area. A lot of people seem excited about this, but I feel like there's also a negative to this. Yeah, a lot of people are excited to be here. First time NASCAR's ever been in Chicago, I think. But there are equally a lot of people that are not happy about this because it's super inconvenient, it's loud. There's one bookstore down here that actually just closed up because they were like, the noise pollution is too much and it's making things inaccessible for their customers. And then July 4th weekend is coming up so a lot of shops are gonna be closed anyway so they're losing money personally I'm not a NASCAR fan so this is just weird <laughs> to me it's kind of a up in the air experience now with something as big as NASCAR in Chicago what can that mean for the city well it can mean one of two things with Chicago being the way it is kind of being segregated things kind of separated the two outcomes can be one this can actually be a jump start to the city of Chicago where things can actually be happening in the city more often and that brings in an influx of tourists and it gives a reason of the city to come together on something the second thing that I'm kind of fearful of that might happen because of I know how Chicago is and I feel like it might be another thing to be divisive on that actually causes more division in an already segregated Chicago. As I said earlier people were saying it's a huge inconvenience and that we're just not the demographic for NASCAR but then I went to Twitter and I saw the exact opposite. A lot of people were really happy and really proud of Chicago for doing something like this. 
And I don't really see a lot of that. What I'm hoping for is that Chicago takes this, uses this as a stepping stone to actually turn Chicago into more of an inviting, unified community and just get away from this gatekeeping, segregated trash. Like I said last time, it's gonna take a long time. This NASCAR thing felt very brute force and I feel like it has done a lot of change. I don't know, I'm hopeful to see what Chicago will do. We'll see. Yeah, good business race day. All right. He has navigated the streets of Chicago to perfection. I mean, you gotta admit, this is pretty cool. On the front stretch, he comes to the checkered flag. He's no, won the very no, first street no, race no, in NASCAR. No, no. All right, I'm getting whistled at. I'm leaving. Go to Booze's board on the NASCAR track.